Hello friends and fellow collectors, thank you for joining me for another Fire Replicas review here on Diecast Emporium. Today we're going to be checking out the 150th scale 2022 Ferrara Hazardous Materials Unit, number one, from the Fire Department of New York. The real truck services the entire city of New York City, all five boroughs. The SKU for this is FR163-1 and its MSRP price is $349. Only 300 have been made of this truck, so again, if you are interested, don't wait. Most all Fire Replicas trucks sell out very, very quickly within a couple months of their release. So again, there'll be a link down in the video's description where you can click on uh, the link if you want to buy the model. All right, let's begin the unboxing. Again, most of you are familiar with Fire Replicas now, but if you're not, if you're just joining us, if this is your first video, Fire Replicas has a very specific way to unbox their products. So we're going to go through that now. Let's flip open the box. In fact, here, the very first thing in the box is a sheet, instructional sheet, telling you how to take care of your model and unbox it. Again, I'm just going to show you how to do that now. Remove all pieces of the, uh, the foam here. There's a total of six, but really five you need to take out. The six ones at the very bottom. So there's four on each side, and then obviously the top one that you just saw me take out. So we're going to remove all of these. All right, so when these are gone, now you can see the truck inside the box and its acrylic case. And you also see these black lifting straps. So make sure that they are securely underneath the truck. And then you are going to lift straight up on the straps and take the model out of the box. All right, next we got to get the acrylic case off of it. So again, lift straight up. And once you've done that, your model is complete out of the box and ready to be displayed. All right, let's start by taking a look at some of the many details that can be found on the truck. Unusually, we'll start at the top and kind of work our way down through the sides. Beginning at the top, obviously you can see the lights. This is a radar piece right here, this piece that looks like a tiny bubble. Uh, there's also go lights, radio box, stainless steel antennas. Now, if you go to the back on the top, again, this is all diamond plated texturing, which looks really good. There's obviously a light, or a, I should say a window here, that you can see down into the body of the truck, sunlight for the guys. More lights, and then if we go to this part of the top, again, I already pointed out the radar uh, and the different lights as well. All right, now let's start working our way down through the sides. Obviously, the decal work on this model and every Fire Replicas piece is absolutely phenomenal. You can very clearly see how well it comes through. FDNY logo, the American flag, specialist we have the hazmat logo, FDNY Hazardous Material Company 1, and then we have this logo as well, which is the hazmat Special Operations Command logo. All right, other details. You have different storage boxes down here, which can be a little hard to see. Each cabinet or door has its own handle, if you will, individual door hinge. Uh, the nameplate as well is stainless steel and etched. Hopefully this is coming through on camera clearly and not glaring. But basically it says FDNY, uh, Fire Department of New York, Hazmat 1, 2022 Ferrara Hazardous Materials Unit. And again, this truck, unlike a lot of companies, most of the companies, uh, is a citywide unit, meaning that it doesn't just respond to emergencies in Manhattan or the Bronx or whatever. It responds to every hazardous material incident throughout the city. All right, let's take a look at the front. Written in blue, right above the grill. Better living through chemistry, which I think is a really cool slogan for a hazmat truck. Uh, then we also have, I believe these are two fallen firefighters, or one fallen firefighter. Uh, we have your federal siren here, your bumper guard, your tow shackles. 
Uh, again, Ferrara is on the stainless steel grill as well. You can see that throughout the front. Now let's move along to the right-hand side. And this side, I think, is equally as impressive. If I angle this, you can actually see the interior area of the rescue body, the hazmat body, which looks phenomenal. Uh, we have another stainless steel step here, an exhaust. Here's a good look at the wheels and tires, which again look just absolutely incredible. And moving along the body again, we have more doors, more hinges. And that brings us to the rear of the truck. Now the rear is one of the more um, fun areas, for lack of a better term, to look at on this truck because there's a lot of comprehensive detail. So in addition to the, the lights that you see, you have these multi-piece lights right here. And they actually have etched bulb detail. It might be a little hard to see, but they are there and look particularly impressive. You also have different lighting posts as well. Uh, and then the steel grating down here. Which if I do it this way, you can see that better. There you go, right underneath the one and keep back 200 feet. So overall, oh, I forgot to mention the mud flaps as well, which also have keep back 200 feet decaled on them. So overall, here's what you need to know. The Fire Replicas 150th scale hazardous material company number one for the FDNY is yet another fantastic addition to your Fire Replicas fire apparatus collection. Again, these models are not cheap, but you get what you pay for. The detail is unmatched. Uh, and although they are not intended to be removed from the base, you can if you want to. Again, I would encourage you not to do that. If you want to put this in a display cabinet, the model itself measures 8.75 inches long, 2.5 inches wide, and 2.75 inches tall. If you want to leave it on the base and put it in your display cabinet, the case dimensions 12 inches uh, long, 6 inches wide, 5.25 inches tall. So there you go. That'll bring this model review to a close. Let me know what you guys think of this model down in the comments section below. And also on your screen, you will see a uh, variety of different fire replicas products that I have reviewed. Fire replicas and heavy haul replicas, rather, that I have reviewed on this channel. So if you enjoyed this video, I highly, highly, highly encourage you to check it out. All right, that'll do it. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave me a comment down in the comment section below for any of your questions. And again, stay tuned. We're going to have several more Fire Replicas reviews to do over the next coming weeks and months. So if this is something that you like, we got a lot more stuff coming up, and I certainly am looking forward to it. I hope you are as well. Take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.